And we're here at the ID Tech X 2017 right here in uh, Santa Clara. And who are you? I'm Daniel. I'm one of the founders of Tectarian. Hi. Uh, so what's the latest with Tectarian? Well, it's been a quite a while since we were last in touch and I'm really happy to announce that we have a world premiere here today. Uh, it's a combination of our resistive and capacitive sensor in one sensor. So we do not only sense pressure as we've been in the past, you see this here, the stronger I press, the higher is the readout, but we also sense touch, you see it in the lower line, and we also sense the approximation, so you don't actually have to touch the sensor to get uh, a signal. So this is three functionalities in one. So capacitive new... plus? Plus resistive, exactly. Plus in... resistive. Yeah. Are you the only one in the world who can do both? Well, we are the only ones in the world who do it in the completely stretchable and flexible material. So just uh, this is what we're good at, to make sensors that are this stretchable and enable completely new uh, applications. Can you do capacitive plus resistive with this? Uh, well, this is a material sample to show how, how the material behaves, but basically uh, it's the same as here. <clears throat> so we can uh, show you that we can analyze the, the different capacitive uh, fields to be able to swipe um, just as you're used to from your smartphone, but in this completely flexible and stretchable material. And at the same time, I can press on it and jump to the first and last slide in this case, um, or swipe as I, as it was a, a touch screen. <clears throat> so uh, this is a very exclusive technology. Yeah. Uh, you you have like expertise. You have been doing stuff like this, right? Yeah, exactly. My brother has been working at the German Aerospace Center on it for quite a number of years, more than seven years. We have patents filed. We have a lot of background in material science research, and yeah, this is a unique combination. Um, I really like uh, to, be, uh, to be able to work on that product. Why well, do you have a box like this? Are you shipping? Um, well, this is what we're shipping to our first uh, customers, to our lead customers. Can we do unboxing? <laughs> well, basically you have the product already here. This is what we have in the box, but the box... Not a big one like this, right? <laughs> Does no. it come with a big one like this? No, the, in the box there, there will be the tablet, there will be the uh, sensor, and our, our customers, it's called the Sensor Skin Experience Kit, our customers can work with it, they can play around, they can see how they can fit their technology, our technology into their products. All right, and what are you showing over there? Uh, well, what is this rolled system there? Ah, you have to be really strong for this. So this is our little challenge. We made it as hard as it can get to be able to offset the sensors. So you see the signal. And the stronger I press, the higher is the readout here. And if I'm really strong, I can make it full, full color. But it's kind of tough. So yeah, here you go. <laughs> so uh, since we did that video uh, last uh, year or year and a half, two years ago, uh, what's happened? Well, a lot of things have happened. Uh, we grown, have grown the team from, like we were only three people then, it's now 17. Uh, we're on a, on a good role when it comes to uh, scaling up the technology, the manufacturing processes. We have done an eight-digit funding round with an investor, so we're able to uh, grow as a company. We've been uh, very successful with our first clients to go into the prototyping and uh, development phase. So we still don't have a product in the market which you can buy, but it won't be that long anymore, and I'm really happy about the progress. How and those 17 guys uh, or girls, what do they do? Well, it's, engineers? it's mostly engineers. We've been actually able to hire also experienced people. For example, from a robotic company, we got one. We got one printer electronics expert. This is everybody who we need to bring this amazing technology to the market. So mostly um, engineers, but also industrial designers, business guys. Yeah, it's a skin for the robot, right? It's a skin for a robot, but for many other applications as well. Consumer electronics, uh, in gaming, but we will have it in the car, the surfaces. In your jacket? In my jacket. How soon? <laughs> well, the, the, the first products, um, it's hard to, to predict, but the, the first products hopefully we'll see in about one, one and a half years in the market. Yeah. One and a half years, but depends, right? If there's yeah. another investor or something speeds up, well, if it's only low volume and a special application, it might be even sooner, yes. So this will probably be the, be the uh, case even earlier. Because if we need uh, large quantities, how, does it, how is it going to be manufactured? So, yeah, that's the, the challenge, right? You have this unique technology, but you don't 
just uh, want to sell to a few hundreds, but we want tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions in the end. So we are working hard to bring us into roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing to be able to deliver high quantities.